Hello everyone, here I am again today with my friend and colleague, Dr. Kishan. Hi guys. Today we are going to be discussing a topic which I don't think you've exactly been clamouring for, but I'm sure you saw where this was going. That's right, we are going to be talking about Bollywood stars and the work that they may or may not have had done. Who knows? And this is it. I mean, I've been a huge fan since I was a kid. I know you've been quite a fan as well in your in your own right. You've been to India, haven't you? I have. Quite a lot. Yes. Um, you bought us your saris. You were almost a obligatory dancing girl <laughs> in one of the movies. None of that is true. I really. It way. is though, Sarah, isn't it? it? Let's be honest. Not exactly. I have been to India, but I don't think I've seen my fair share of Bollywood films. Okay. So when I thought this was a good idea, I did have to take most of my inspiration from you. Oh. But certainly from the pictures that I've seen of the stars that we're going to comment on, I gotta say, they look amazing. I mean, this is a multi-million dollar industry. This is, I mean, India is known for like two main passions. One is cricket and the other is movies. So the film industry is huge out there. It's a place where social topics are discussed and the music industry comes from within the industry. The actors, actors and actresses are not just vehicles for the stories, but in themselves, they all look stunning. They look absolutely stunning. Some of these things that we've been talking about in terms of aesthetic proportions, if, when we're gonna look at these people's faces, you can see that the Phi concept, the Fibonacci principle, is all reflected in their facial proportions. So certainly uh, with regards to some of the other videos that I did looking at more Hollywood celebrities, I'd say that um, there's a difference in the two. Mm -hmm. So in these, Indian celebrities, the Bollywood celebrities that we're going to be referencing, their work is immaculate. Yeah. Absolutely undetectable. I mean, I agree. And Sarah, I think this is the thing, this is the key thing. I think from the beginning, we've got to say that we actually had known nothing about whether any of these stars categorically have had any treatment done. However, I think if they have had any work done, I think this is important to say from the outset, their work is impeccable. Yeah, it's great. They look job. stunning. Great they're, job. they're just preserved. They're not frozen. They're not. Um, they're not deformed. I mean, the people we're going to discuss are examples of fantastic work. Yeah. But I've got to say, Sarah, you know, one thing in our in our favour is that uh, beige don't age, people's. <laughs> oh, before we move on, yeah. um, we were talking about the celebrity doctors that they have over there in India, you, you named a couple of them. Do you know, um, like, like yourself, we, we go to all sorts of um, aesthetics conferences, we go to dermatology training, and there's two that I've heard of, and one that I've seen actually at one of the conferences, her name's Mukta Sachdev. Another lady I've heard about is Jamuna Pai. And they're both uh, renowned dermatologists in India, mm. and, they were, and they're both also famous for carrying out um, non-invasive injectable treatments, peels, laser therapies, and these are really developing at a, at a huge, huge rate in India now. So mm. I remember you and me went to see that uh, particular doctor lecture in Barcelona who we talked about avoiding complications. I think you remember who I'm talking I about. I do. Yeah. I do remember him. Yeah. I. Maybe you could do the voice, I can't do the voice. I, do, I think we'll leave the voice. <laughs> okay, <you know. laughs> that's for another time. Yeah. Okay, so let's go straight on to our first lady, leading lady, Madhuri Dixit, who is a lady I believe you have met. Yeah, I met her in 2000. She's obviously not going to remember me. But I, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Me and my family, we uh, we sort of, we stalked her. Actually ended up on a film set and met her in 2000. I've got no idea what age she was, but I've got to tell you, looking at these pictures and looking at the film I saw recently where she plays a 40-year-old housewife, she looks the same. That's some great security they've got on that set, isn't it? Amazing. But yeah, I, I thought exactly the same thing. Um, when I saw the pictures, OMG, maintenance. It's the maintenance yeah. that she's undergone because her skin, it just looks absolutely radiant. Yeah. She looks amazing. I've got to say, when I was a kid, she was known for having quite poor skin. Really? Yeah, so either, I mean, and the thing is, she's married to a, to a very famous doctor now, and I'm just assuming that she's had the best that's available in terms of dermatology, in terms of whatever treatments. 
you know she may or may not have had she's able to access the best that uh, uh, the best that one could have yeah. so her skin I'm not surprised is glowing and radiant I think they've done a great job yeah. with her so uh, some of the things that we pointed out before um, the lateral part of the eye for me looks quite raised so I do think that she's had a bit of filler underneath do her you? eye okay. I do mm. I do I will come out on a limb and say that um, the cheek also looks a little bit repositioned I think like you, you mentioned before haven't you that, that as we age tissues move medially and south and I think what, what appears to me for Madhuri is that everything just seems to be gradually just lifted mm -hmm. um, and you know you could argue maybe that's just her unique the shape you know her unique shape that's the way of aging has has happened for her you could argue that you could argue you that. could yeah um, but I, I mean there's no doubt about it she is a stunning stunning woman and you know she's known for her smile her eyes I mean, I've got to admit, when I met her in real life, her beauty is breathtaking. For me, as well, the the shape of the face has changed from being, you know, a little more on the square side mm. to being longer. And that's something which also occurred with Renée Zellweger. Do you remember? Mm. The same transformation. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Except I think she's been renee Can I say that? I think she's very heart-shaped. She's very... She's, she's literally got that triangle of youth that we all want, hasn't yeah. she? Mr. Diplomacy yeah. over here. Yeah, yeah I have to. Say <laughs> I am in love with these stars. That's yeah, the thing. That's, that's I mean. fine. I think she's got. She's been renamed, but she looks amazing. Yeah. Next up, we've got Priyanka Chopra, famous at least to me for her role in Quantico. Over to you. Yeah. I mean, she's a little bit different, uh, Priyanka. Um, so literally a beauty queen in the real sense of the word. I think she started off by winning Miss Globe, some beauty sort of contest. And then she's had a string of films in India mm -hmm. and a highly successful career, um, huge advertising contracts. And then she's quite unique in the sense that she's made a, her own role in America. Really, really, she's really renowned for, for bridging the gap between Hollywood and, and Bollywood as well. So. Priyanka's a bit of a uh, trailblazer. Not only in terms of her career, but also in her love life as well. Of course, she just recently got married to True. Nick Jonas. Undoubtedly, Priyanka is a stunning, beautiful woman. Of course, the reason you're all on this channel is you're wondering, has she had anything <coughs> done? Well, for me, I do think that there is a bit of a change in the nose. Um, so I suspect that she probably had a very minor rhinoplasty, um, which is very common. Um, and also there's a change in the smile as well. So beforehand, the, the smile was quite canine. Um, yeah. you know, you there was there see. was quite a lot of show, wasn't there? Yeah. You could see, and then maybe she's had some treatment to slightly mask that, it's possible. The other thing I know is Priyanka's really famous for her full, full lips mm. and we know that like from the age 25, 28, 29 onwards, the lips start to lose volume. So it's not unfeasible that she might have opted for a treatment like a, like a, a gentle lip filler. Mm -hmm. Because she has got probably the most famous lips in Bollywood. And I can see why. Mm. But what out of her work it is that she has had done. I again think it's very, very tastefully done. They've done a great job. Not sure who is responsible for that, but thumbs up. If anyone. Okay, okay, he has to put that caveat in. Um, but thumbs up, really, it's, it's nice work. I think what's interesting about Priyanka's face is something about the aesthetic proportions where mm. we've got quite a nice strong jaw and, and really full lips as well. I mean, we, we've, we've said this before, yeah. people like Angelina Jolie. Exactly, that's exactly who I was going to yeah. reference. And they so. will get away with those beautiful lips. It's, exactly. We get some of our patients who will say, look, I want lips like Priyanka Chopra. Yeah. And I, I've actually had that asked me so many times. But when your face is very slim or yeah. there's not much in terms of soft tissue there to support those fuller lips, it can look a little bit of a mismatch. Yeah, it doesn't look quite right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And you don't know why, but it is that. It's that aesthetic proportion, isn't it? Yeah. So it's the width, guys. If you want to have full lips, you really need to have a bit of width mm. in the jaw. Next up, we've got our SRK. Yeah, we do love Shah Rukh Khan. He's, he's amazing. No, he's we? amazing. I mean, 
the guy is 50 at least. Yeah. He's done the done one of the most in, like interesting TED Talks that a Bollywood star has ever delivered. The man is still dressing up in superhero outfits, doing, I, I, from what I know, he's still doing some of his own stunts at the age of 50 plus. I mean, and he looks, he looks great, amazing. He does. He used to be um, one of these evergreen stars who, you know, like running around the hills and and uh, with one of his very famous actresses that used to work with Gajal, and they were in quite a few hits together. His roles have really diversified since then, and I and I think facially he looks better and better and better than he did back in the day. But what's interesting is his face has matured into a sort of a more slightly more masculine version of himself. Mm. He's got a stronger jaw. Agreed. I think from what we know about maxilla facial surgery and you know the 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 aging of the facial skeleton, it's very interesting that usually the lower part of the face or the, the lower facial skeleton, the mandible, tends to have different changes. The jawbone. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so the, the, the jawbone changes with age and, and actually we get some resorption of that bone in men and in women. But with Shah Rukh, he just looks healthier and stronger and even more masculine as, as time progresses. And Dr. Kishan, what do you think could possibly be responsible for this? You are not going to get me this. to commit. <laughs> it could just be healthy living. <laughs> Working out in the gym, I mean, that's a possibility. You know, growth hormone, testosterone. Do you, the guy works do out. Do you think that a chin could change like that? I mean, you know, we're gonna, if you are gonna hold me down, I'd have to say this is one gentleman I think who probably has had some work. It's good. It's amazing. It's very good. It's amazing. I think he looks more masculine. They've managed to keep that. They haven't made him uh, feminized, which can yeah. often happen when a man gets injected. They've done a lovely job on him. But yeah, chins don't age like that. It's not possible. Soz. I'll have to come and see you now, Sarah, won't I? <laughs> yes. Your chin's good. No, I need it, Dane. Yeah. We'll read it. Last but not least, we've got Dipika Padukone. Again, like Priyanka, she's had an amazing career. It's unique, it's, it's not unique, it's also very interesting because she's managed to combine working in, in uh, Hollywood as well as in, in Bombay. She's really like a very, very diverse in terms of her acting roles. You know who she reminds me of? Bella Hadid, the nose. Do you know? Looks like Bella yeah, Hadid. Yeah, it's an interesting facial structure, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it, it seems interesting. Like beautiful. they have the same surgeon, maybe. Ooh. Well, I mean, look at the pictures. I don't think <clears throat> there's any denying that there's a rhinoplasty going on here. Clever makeup, Sarah. <laughs> know what you girls get up to with all your contouring but uh, how did I bring him on this video really <laughs> like, he's not gonna commit to anything that's fine I think um, she's really famous for her dimple sort of and she's got this classic triangle of youth mm. and I think you know like uh, apart from trying to get me to commit to having an opinion about these these celebrities I think what's really important about the Indian film stars is they've they're actually got some fantastic facial proportions which if we have a patient who comes to us who's like this and actually wants to press pause on the facial aging process, we've got the tools where we can preserve that triangle of beauty, where we can maintain those those superficial and deep fat pads. Mm -hmm. So we kind of just press pause mm -hmm. and they will look better and better and better as time goes by. Cheeks like hers, they tend not to age too well. You know, they do get heavier as the facial structure changes as you get older. Cheeks, which are previously the fat was here, it will end up sliding down the face. And she's managed to magically not have that happen to her. So I would dare say that there is a bit of clever work going on here. But again, very nice. Would I swap faces? Probably yes. <laughs> I think what's also interesting is that uh, all of these stars have got uh, a lot of pressure on them, mm. not just to look young, but to look really fit. So they will have rigorous training schedules, diet, their, their exercise that they'll be doing is going to have a toll on their facial structure as well. And classically we see sort of a malar split because of separation of the fat pads or, or certainly sort of a, a more pronounced ridge mm -hmm. within, the, within the cheek. Uh, zone, yeah, and that we don't see with these these wonderful looking celebrities. Yeah, so what a mystery! It, it is. <laughs> we'll have to get our old magnifying glass out for that, won't we? 
Something which we do see quite a lot um, reference uh, with regards to Bollywood stars is the changing in skin tone. Not the stars in particular, mm. but it's often something which is written about, you know, them changing themselves in this way. Do you have any comment? I just think it's fascinating because there's been, for many, for decades, if not centuries, there's been a preoccupation with having a fairer, more golden, or sometimes they describe it as a wheatish complexion. So in, in, in India they say if you have a wheatish complexion, you're more attractive, you're more likely to find a partner, and like your other studies have shown about sort of um, levels of attractiveness, you will have a better life in general. You know, you'll have a better job, um, you'll be acquitted of crimes easier. So yeah, it's unique to India in the sense that people will avoid the sun, people will, will sometimes use skincare or have treatments that makes their skin brighter. Um, and there's a multi-million dollar industry in fairness creams, for example. Um, I'm really pleased to say that I think in India things have changed, or they are changing, where sort of different complexions are being held up as examples of beauty as well. And this goes back to our aesthetic proportions, genuinely beautiful fa faces are being idealized as uh, examples of beauty, regardless of skin colour. And I think that's a really progressive thing for India. There's quite a few models now who've been identified as sort of having di darker complexion and, and yet very beautiful. So there's Nandita Sen, there's Gajul, there's Bibasha Basu. Um, Gajul is quite famous because she used to like resolutely have a sort of a monobrow. She wouldn't sort of separate the, the brows. And it gave her a very natural, very girl next door look. And I think this is why having this conversation is great because it opens up discussion. But I think um, many, many Indian women and men have sort of believed in healthy, natural, good looks, portraying them, portraying themselves as, as in the most natural way possible. Minimal makeup. Um, classically, they've denied having plastic surgery or injectables. But I do think that's changing. Mm. And just from conversations I, we've been having with Indian doctors, um, it just seems to be more and more popular these days. Mm -hmm. Kind of expensive over there, from what I understand. I think for the level of skill that some of these doctors have, um, it's you, you, you really do get the service that you pay for. You get what you pay for, guys. Everywhere in the world. Is right. you do. I mean, just looking at these stars that we've been talking about, there's a few male stars who look so good, I mean, including SRK. Amir Khan, amongst others, and they've reached this age looking as good as that. I have to say, if I look as good as that when I'm sort of 50, 55, 60, um, I'll be very, very happy. Um, so I suppose we should definitely stay friends. I guess we're going to have to now, really, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, guys, so that's it for this week. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you've got any comments, suggestions, anything you'd like to say, please just drop it in the comment section below, and I will see you again next week. See you later.